this is the before don't look too close <laughs> i'm doing concealer because i only do concealer when i want my makeup to be snatched and that is today um yeah i just kind of filled in my brows a tiny little bit with a blonde pencil just for a soft look my makeup isn't going to be completely accurate to any of my inspiration pictures because i'm going to do what makes me feel prettiest i feel like that's important when you're trying to be a bombshell you know what I mean? It's not just gonna be my regular makeup. I swear I'm gonna do something different. Specifically, I'm probably gonna do a darker lip, most likely red, which I usually don't like, but I feel like if I overline my lips enough, I will. Right now, I'm just doing bronzer, and I'm just using the Physician's formu Formula one that smells like the beach or whatever. By the way, this is not a tutorial. I feel like I have to say this in every makeup video, but like I'm not a professional. You can follow what I'm doing if you want. I can't promise it'll turn it out good. I'm just putting bronzer on my eyelids for what reason, I don't know. Maybe you can tell me in the comments. Like what I can't figure out is how I want to do my eye makeup because usually there would be like eyeliner on the top lid and I just don't love the way that looks on me all the time. Sometimes it looks great and sometimes it looks horrible and I don't know if I want to risk it today. Like either way I'm doing lashes of course but yeah I don't know. I'll get back to you on that. I'll get back to you. I guess in the meantime while I try to decide I will just do my eyeshadow. I'm just gonna do what I normally do. It's really nothing special. <laughs> Trust me. Something else that makes me think of like bombshell for some reason is unreleased Lana Del Rey songs. For some reason they just have that vibe to me, I don't know. I think it's partly the fan made music videos to them that also have that vibe, I don't know. But if you haven't heard it, I would recommend. There are hundreds, hundreds. I haven't even listened to them all. I have Spotify playlist of 56 of them. That's all, but there's so many more. Why am I waving this around? I'm also going to add a tiny bit of white shimmer on like the corner. I normally don't do that, but I feel like today just calls for it. I am so sorry if you can hear my neighbors upstairs. My lovely upstairs neighbors. Bless their hearts. Mascara. Well, I just got that all over my eyelid, but <laughs> being careful is so overrated. All right, now it's time for lashes, and I'm not using a full strip because I'm just not that good yet. I literally just can't. I haven't mastered it, so I'm definitely not doing that today, but I'm just using like a half of one that I cut. This is the glue that I use. It was like $2 on Amazon. It's the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with aloe. And it goes on white, but it dries clear. It's very easy to use, even for me. And I'm just like not good at lashes. I never have been. But now I can. <laughs> this sounds like an advertisement, but here we go. I'm so nervous. I feel like this is gonna be a disaster. So yeah, I just kind of pile it on there like that. And then I usually put it on with my hands because, well first you have to let it get tacky, but I usually put it on with my hands because it's just easier to control. I'm also not doing freckles today because it's just not the vibe we're going for. I am gonna color in my mole though. My mole that is there, but doesn't have any color. Okay, I'm going in. All right, they're on. I know they look kind of weird on camera. I swear they look better in real life. We're just gonna have to live with it. I have my pouch of lipsticks. I don't even know if I have a red lip liner. I kind of need that. We've got her. We've got her. We've got her. I'm not exactly sure what this is. 
It's a liquid lip. I can't do a liquid lip. That's way too hard. This is a lip gloss. That's red. We can use that. Okay, so I just lined my lips with this. I overlined them a little bit, obviously. And now I need to figure out which red I want to go in with. I think that's a good kind of color. Do I look pretty? <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna do the mole. This is crucial. You can't see it, but it's there. I guess I'm done with makeup. Um. Okay, now for my hair. You guys are gonna be so proud of me. I curled my hair the other day and it actually turned out good. Like this is the first time I've done my whole head and it actually looked good. Now that was a couple days ago, so my hair is a little bit greasy. <laughs> I put on dry shampoo last night, but who knows if that worked. So I'm probably just gonna like brush it out and recurl some pieces, maybe put in more dry shampoo. And I'll see you when I'm done doing that. All right, so the hair and makeup is complete. I know this isn't completely like bombshell hair, but listen, I know how to do one thing, okay? Don't push me. Now for the outfit, I'm taking inspiration from the guest campaign and maybe I'll do another outfit, I don't know. I'll probably take some pictures. Obviously, I can't let this look go to waste. Okay, so this is my recreation of the Anna Nicole Smith guest campaign outfit. I'm not gonna stay in this outfit because it's not my favorite. I didn't do that good of a job, but this was the best I had, okay? I hate that the whites don't match, but I'm gonna try and recreate the picture and it'll be in black and white, so hopefully that won't matter too much. And the shirt is really long, so I had to tuck it into the skirt, so it's like very bulky. I don't like it. Hi, queen. I don't have a pearl necklace, so I just put on these pearl hoop earrings, so hopefully that's good enough. It's gonna have to be. I forgot what... <laughs> I forgot that I was making coffee, um, but now I remember and I'm, I'm gonna continue to do that, so... Also, I'm just emptying the dishwasher right now as a bombshell. I just finished taking pictures and I think I finally got one I like of like you know I had to take off the lipstick I just couldn't do it anymore I just couldn't but I got what I needed with that I guess I also took off the outfit because I just couldn't do it anymore either but you know what I still feel like a bombshell on the inside and I might put on like a different outfit later if I feel like yeah, I'm not really sure. Also, happy Valentine's Day. Um, I realized that this video is going to be posting on Valentine's Day. I didn't plan that. It just kind of happened. So yeah, happy Valentine's Day. I have fully regressed back into <laughs> my sweat fit that I normally wear. But I think later I am going to try and put together a different outfit. But for now, I'm just going to eat lunch, I think. And I just edited like the makeup part of the video, so I'm gonna have to edit the rest later. Yeah. Okay, I just touched up my makeup and I switched around a couple things. It don't really matter. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna try and find a new outfit now. We'll see what I can come up with. <laughs> okay, so this is what we are working with for the second outfit very simple i know these shoes are so uncomfortable they will not be on for long i put on my new giant hoops 
because why not? The top and the skirt are actually both from Amazon, so yeah. Definitely more of a modern bombshell outfit, I guess. It's a very rainy, dreary day. I'll probably take some pictures in this. Okay, update. I just switched to a middle part, so that's kind of crazy and different. <laughs> Concludes this video. I don't really know what else to do. <laughs> and if you don't have a date for Valentine's Day, like I don't, that's okay. What is stopping you from dressing in a cute outfit and taking pictures? You don't even have to post them, just like so you can feel cute. You know what I mean? Do you? I keep looking at the wrong side the camera it's all right thanks for watching thanks for clicking you didn't have to that was very nice of you and please like and subscribe if you want to no pressure and i'll see you in my next video bye